Hello Ride On people, uh, apologies that this is shot on my iPhone 10. Um, my Sony camera is a battery is flat and I'm uh, just too lazy to wait for it basically but hopefully you'll get the gist from this video. Now I've been asked a fair bit in the comments section on uh, my plethora of uh, rocket videos recently what is it that I use for my phone setup on the handlebars? Well uh, stick around and I'll tell you. So this is what I've typically been using on my uh, GSAs, uh, my 1200 and my 1250. It's a bit cumbersome, it's got a D-ring for the uh, clamp around the handlebars. And it's got this uh, extension bar that you can clamp into place with a, a ball joint and uh, a nice little uh, X-clamp at the top. And the X-clamp just kind of moves side to side and clamps the phone in place. And on the GSA, doesn't look too out of place because let's face it it's a, a very utilitarian almost industrial um, you know function over form motorcycle but on the pretty rocket we don't want something that looks like something out of alien right so what I've got now both on the GSA as you can see here and also on the rocket 3 is a tank form and with the rocket it's pretty discreet as you can see it's pretty small and this right hand side just slides out simple as that clamps whatever you want in place either your iphone which sits here i'll uh, i'll do a screenshot of that so you get an idea of the uh, what it's like in situ and i've got this nice little uh StarTech com cable which uh, it's kind of squarish shaped and it's not too long it's got this nice squiggly flexible lead with it and when I'm not using it it's easy to kind of fold up on itself so it doesn't uh, you know, flay around. Now I use this uh, plug-in socket which is a bit different from the usual car sockets it's a bit smaller and I've got a double USB on it. Now what I find on the GSA is if you're caught out in a monsoon after an hour or two uh, it will stop powering the unit but on my GSA at least, I've not had any problems with blown fuses, I've not had any problems with uh, the iPhone. All that happens is this simply stops working and it dries out and then it works again. So I'm assuming it's gonna be exactly the same situation on the rocket. You can always, these are so cheap, you can always buy a spare if you were actually touring and it was really important that you kept your phone powered. Uh, or GPS, because what I found with this particular clamp is that when it's, uh, fully extended and twisted in a portrait rather than a <coughs> landscape rather than a portrait mode it will actually fit my Garmin GPS so you could uh, you could go away for a day or two if you really wanted uh, you know full-on planning in a full-on Garmin but this is much uh, much neater solution for just your phone and um, what I would say is that if you uh, if you like having your phone fully charged and uh, you like using your phone for navigation then I certainly would not invest uh, the whatever it is 350 bucks in the Triumph navigation um, sorry communications module instead I would simply buy a Cardo Backtalk um, mesh intercom and uh, that'll run you about uh, I think about 300 bucks uh, or about 250 if you split a, a two pack with a friend as I did with uh, Jerry for instance and uh, then basically you've got say a 13 hour battery life with that it works really good even if you're listening to music and talking all day uh, we get uh, you know we run from maybe half past seven in the morning to half past four in the afternoon and we're still at uh, over 50 percent power so you get plenty of power uh, you can actually charge it on the go from this as well if you needed to uh, and with uh, the pack talk intercom you can have up to 15 riders talk it's much uh, stronger connectivity than the regular bluetooth or things like the Cena. and um, more importantly you can use all natural voice commands with both cardo and your iphone so for instance you can say cardo battery status and it will tell you how much battery is left or uh, cardo volume up and it will turn the volume up on your music you can also use siri so you can say hey siri play uh, playlist 
quarter one or something and it will just start playing it and then you can say Siri uh, skip track or you know call your friend or set a reminder for you for when you get home or something like that it can do all of that uh, naturally with voice commands and it does it all perfectly and um, rather than the communications module uh, unless you've got a desperate hole burning in your pocket I would urge you to get a decent intercom system a decent mesh intercom system specifically the Cardo Backtalk I, I think I'm not affiliated with them in any shape or form but I'm very pleased with their customer service very pleased with their units and there's several of us now ride with those and uh, it can just do everything that typically the interfaces on these bikes uh, in terms of communications can do but I would say more reliably and to better quality. So on the GSA we have a you know, big TFT screen with a great big interface and you can Bluetooth your GPS to it and your phone, but it's uh, uh, not the most reliable thing uh, in terms of, uh, um, you know, sometimes it will lose Bluetooth connections and stuff and uh, sometimes you you can't find your contacts list, it's disappeared and, and all sorts of little annoyances like that whereas if you just bluetooth your iphone to your cardo back to bold you've got music you've got phone calls you can text people you can leave reminders for yourself the big jbl speakers are excellent in terms of clarity and this is the only setup you need basically a little plug-in for uh, your usb and uh, a usb cable to iphone and a nice sturdy this is quality it's about 60 bucks but this tack form is solid you can hear it it's real solid metal it's really solid it's not going anywhere now with this kit uh, it actually comes with some inner rings but for the rocket you don't need it it comes with a little plastic strip like a, uh, a kind of uh, clear cello tape or uh, uh, kind of wrap and you can put that around your bars to protect it, which I did. And then it's a simple uh, Allen key bolt up and they provide the Allen key. And a simple uh, twist of this to lock it up tight at the angle that you want it. Now, over here on the GSA, you will see, if the iPhone picks it up, there is a, a second ring here, just here, uh, just inside a plastic ring. I actually provide three different sizes, so, whatever bike uh, you buy or use it on by using the other rings you can always get a decent fit and so I fitted that on the GSA because the ring would fit uh, you don't need it on the rocket because it has those nice fat bars and uh, I guess they're fatter because of the uh, internal wiring that has to go through them and of course because they look cool as right so there you go so for all the people that were asking in the comments uh, what am I running in terms of uh, my uh, iPhone setup on the rocket, that is it. It's cheap as chips in relative terms. Uh, so I would say buy all three items. I got them all from Amazon. I'll put the links in the description and uh, put it on your rocket. It's a nice discreet uh, solution. Doesn't look half bad when uh, you don't have anything in the clamp and when you've got your phone in the clamp and you're riding uh, it's very clear um, and I would recommend using the Waze application if you're just going from point A to B and want to get there the soonest with the least ha hassle and uh, there you go oh and what's on my mind another cheap solution to a problem is this this is several small ceramic tiles that I found in my basement in a box doing nothing and I just wrapped them in uh, in some duct tape or gaffer tape if you prefer that term and uh, basically that will sit underneath the centre stand of the Rocket 3 or the side stand of the Rocket 3 I should say and uh, put it in gear so it doesn't roll anywhere and it will hold it almost upright and uh, then you can jet wash it and clean it uh, without any issue whatsoever and uh, I don't know the height of that uh, not much point in me telling you anyway you just need to experiment with uh, any tiles that you've got but it's a cheap little uh, way of uh, producing a sturdy stand that'll carry the weight of the rocket quite easily when your net's clean your bike
So last but not least, you're gonna ride often, you're gonna ride careful, and you're gonna ride on. I hope you're already a ride on subscriber, but if not, please subscribe straight away. And last but not least, ride often, ride carefully, ride on.